suckers! <laughs> that was one of many of Texas Guinan's catchphrases. She also coined the term egg and butter men for rich dudes. And uh, let's give the girls a hand. She was born Mary Louise Cecilia Guinan, but when she entered vaudeville as a singer, she took her home state, Texas, as a first name. Her singing was okay, but she was really known for her Wild West pattern. She uh, started into silent films. Her first one was Wildcat, and she got known as America's Cowgirl. She also is very known for starting a uh, speakeasy called the 300 Club. That was one of the hottest joints in New York City. George Gershwin would play there, and the guest list was crazy huge. I mean, Lionel Barrymore, Clara Bow, Rudolph Valentino, to name just a few. She got raided all the time and didn't care about getting arrested. She claimed, hey, they brought the liquor in themselves. And she said for indecency, well, the girls were dancing close because the place is too little. Ruby Keeler was discovered at her nightclub and George Raft as dancers and got contracts for pictures. Um, Walter Winchell got his career there as a gossip columnist. Night After Night was based on her, but the part went to Mae West because she was too old to play herself. Walter Winchell ended up writing um, Broadway Through the Keyhole about her, and there was also a film called Queen of the Nightclubs. Fun fact, Madonna was going to do a picture called Hello Suckers, but that got canned. Oh, another fun fact. Guinan was Whoopi Goldberg's name on Star Trek The Next Generation in honor of Texas Guinan since she owned the bar. In the end, she died very quickly and suddenly, and it was really sad because it was right before Prohibition ended. This is Todd Pickering for Walk of Fame Wednesdays. I will see you next week in Hollywood.